Matt's got a question here on uh, driver servicing in Intune. Should you target all devices or group them by model for driver updates via Intune? Also, how can you create device groups based on models in Intune? That answer is one of those lovely not depends. Uh, I'm going to fight on this hill until the day I, <laughs> well, until later. Uh, <laughs> uh, driver updates. I, I, no matter what platform you use, MDT, PSD, Config Manager, Intune, I do not care. I recommend sticking with the total control uh, 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 freak method. OS family, and in this case, the models. I, I agree. Uh, and maybe I'm a little biased because I've just followed you on, on this topic uh, for, for so many years, but this allows you to have a better understanding of what's happening in your environment, it allows you to troubleshoot better, it allows you to have more control, like you're, like you're saying, um, uh, on that per model basis. Um, so I don't have much to add, except yes, I agree. Yeah, thank you. So paramodal and manual approval. That's, that's yeah. my firm recommendation. And there will be a few things that can talk me out of it. Yeah. Um, we saw last year what happens when you put them all into the same bucket and then you have a vendor, won't then mention any name, but you know, real tech decided <laughs> to release a driver that A, didn't work, Two overwrote whatever type of, of filter that was on it. So a lot of devices got it and didn't have a functional network after the fact. Kind of hard to fix those devices. I would think so, yes. Um, this is why you whip out a floppy and run. <laughs> so oh, that's, that's my take on it. Humble as it. Isn't this? Uh, isn't it? Uh, it's not. It's not humble at all. <laughs> that's right. Um, uh, but uh, you know, uh, that's it's important, and you have experience. So <laughs> I would recommend to everybody else listen to Johan. Um, uh, Matt's second question here on how to create device groups. Um, Sasan wrote a script about that last year. Oh. Oh yeah, I saw um, you share that one. Uh, let me. Uh, I promise, I was trying to copy the link. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a nice PowerShell script that allow you to create them uh, fully automatically based on the models that you do have. Uh, if you only have uh, six models, like I have in my lab tenant, well, <laughs> can well just go ahead and create them. But uh, yeah, PowerShell is nice. And, and this one's super easy to customize and run. I mean, if you look back to our office hours, probably from July of last year, I think I demoed this not long after it came out. So um, very Sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> 